Hi, my name is Jay Gottfried. And I'm Christina Zolano. We work at Northwestern University Feinberg School of Medicine in the Department of Neurology. Welcome to our study. Sensory perception is often initiated prior to physical contact with a sensory stimulus. Past knowledge and experience set expectations for what is likely, but not yet, to be encountered, enhancing the speed and accuracy of perceptual judgments. Known as predictive coding, this mechanism is critical for animals trying to survive in noisy and unpredictable sensory environments. How the brain makes use of predictive coding mechanisms to anticipate stimuli in the environment is a fundamental question in neuroscience. The primary goal of this study was to test whether the human olfactory system forms predictive representations or templates of an expected odor stimulus before any smell has arrived at the nose. Our investigations focus on several key olfactory limbic regions of the human brain. This ventral view of the human brain, in which the right temporal lobe has been transected to expose the olfactory regions, shows that odor information from the olfactory bulb projects to several brain areas in the medial temporal and basal frontal lobes, including the anterior and posterior piriform cortex, which in turn project to OFC. In this study, we used functional imaging methods and multivariate analysis techniques to examine the spatiotemporal evolution of activity patterns in human olfactory cortex while healthy human subjects took part in an odor search task. Odor stimuli consisted of odor A, which was a watermelon-like smell, odor B, which was a Play-Doh-like smell, or a mix of A and B. In separate scanning runs, subjects determined on each trial whether target odor A was present or whether target odor B was present. All odors were delivered using an air dilution olfactometer capable of delivering single odorants and binary mixtures. Each trial began with a visual countdown cue informing subjects to prepare for the presence of odor. After sampling the odor, subjects indicated via button press whether or not the target smell was present. Behavioral data collected during scanning confirmed that subjects responded more accurately and more quickly when the stimulus contained the target compared to when it did not. These findings indicate that olfactory selective attention biases perceptual performance towards task-relevant stimuli. Multivariate pattern analysis of the fMRI data revealed two distinct regional profiles. Consider a trial involving target A expectation followed by odor B presentation. In APC and OFC, pre-stimulus ensemble patterns reflected the identity of the odor target, even before odor onset. Of note, these target pattern representations persisted even after odor onset, and even if the odor stimulus was incongruent with the expected target. A different profile emerged in PPC. Here, following odor onset, these target patterns gave way to stimulus patterns of the actual odor that was delivered to the nose. To confirm that these pre-stimulus fMRI patterns are literally perceptual templates, we reasoned that the search pattern for a given odor, say odor A, should overlap with the actual evoked pattern for that same matching odor following stimulus onset, as opposed to that for a non-matching odor. This analysis revealed higher pattern correlations in posterior piriform cortex, but not in anterior piriform or in orbital frontal cortex when the identities of the pre-stimulus target and post-stimulus odor were the same. Finally, we tested the hypothesis that pre-stimulus odor templates should help augment olfactory perception. Our data are consistent with this idea and show that subjects who generated more robust odor target templates in posterior piriform identified the target odor more accurately. Our findings bring new insights to the systems level understanding of human olfactory perception. Odor ensembles in APC and OFC reflect what is sought rather than what is delivered and may provide a mechanism for comparing and updating olfactory predictive information, perhaps with the involvement of medial dorsal thalamus. In contrast, olfactory ensembles in PPC evolve from stimulus-specific predictive templates to stimulus-specific codes of the odor itself. Critically, the availability of predictive codes for guiding olfactory perception resides in PPC, highlighting the dynamic role of this region at the interface of sensation, expectation, and perception.